Uh, Mrs. Heather Honey, whose mood is sunny because she's made of money, asks what you thought of the royal themed float at this year's New Orleans Mardi Gras. Uh, we never saw it, I don't think. I mean, I don't recall. We were outraged, you know, showing me emerging from a lavatory. Oh no, don't recall seeing it actually. Oh, well, you were almost impossibly accurate in your guess, Harry, that you emerged from a lavatory, whilst you, Megan, were depicted as wearing a sash saying Windsor Winer. Sure it didn't say winner? Uh, no, it was definitely Winer, Harry. Oh, that's ridiculous. I mean, when did my Megan ever complain about anything? I mean, even once. Uh, you know, Dr. Jackson, when you've been doing this as long as we have, you know, when you've been under the scrutiny, the spotlight, you know, constantly, you begin to see these acts of hatred, these acts of hate for exactly what they are. Uh, genuinely valid, albeit occasionally vulgar, criticisms? No, they're just projections of hate against a vision of a better world, you know, a fairer world, a newer world. I mean, a world that might take some of their power away, right? Power that's stored that they get from the institutions and the structures of society, you know, and they spit venom at me for suggesting that we should fix some of these inequalities. Yeah, but not all of them, of course. I mean, you'll be keeping your exquisite lifestyle evidently unequal to those that you champion. Oh, yeah, of course. It's necessary, I'm afraid. Markle's law, but let's not go there. But do you not think, Megan, it's too much of a coincidence for you to be accused, you know, independently by so many different people of the same negative traits, you know, in this case, whining, for there not to be some truth to it? No, no, there's no truth in it at all. I mean, all these people who independently you know, accuse me of the same crimes and uh, have the same criticisms, I mean, they're all plugged in to the same system of bigotry. You know, they're all getting fed from its foundations. So, you know, there's a lot of literature on this, actually, you know, written by real experts. Experts. The basic idea is that the attacks on me, uh, on us, on me, aren't independent at all. You know, they all spring from the same source, which is the societal untruths and lies that have been spread. Uh, you know, they've been spread and spouted and accepted by civilization for ages, you know. Centuries. Eons, maybe. Uh, an eon refers to half a billion years, Harry. You know, 500 million years. Well, who knows? And when these lies and untruths are questioned, certain people from a certain part of the political spectrum jump on me as the light bringer. In this case, my Megan. To extinguish any chance of challenging the ways that we have behaved collectively in, in the past. Which leads us nicely onto a question sent in from Theodore Toffey from the district of Ruffey. Do either of you consider yourselves laughably deluded? No. No. That's crazy, isn't it? Crazy. Crazy, crazy.